Greetings, Commanders, and welcome to this video. I'm your host, Mimi, and I'm here with Suze. Today, we will show you exclusive gameplay footage of Kami Muramaika. We will go through her skills and costumes. After those, it's gameplay time. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The Scorching Fire is here! Based on YouTube comments, people have been waiting for her for a long time now. Well, the wait is over. From a great supporter to a great playable character, Maika is here. Now, Let's see what her skills are all about. The first skill is Timeline Art Pyro. Death from above. Grenade launcher. Ruthless explosion. Incendiary Rounds Made of Flame Time and an Art Crimson Lotus Something to note here is that the skill changes according to the charging level and whether you have Time and an Art Pyro activated or not. The way to do the shelling shown in the second clip is first by activating Pyro and while it's still launching that, pressing again to activate Crimson Lotus. I will show it in the gameplay. Keep in mind that if you don't have pyro in your skill slot, the rapid fire shelling will not work and you will simply fire another big blast from the bazooka. Next is pile flare, carpet bombing, and finally explosive rounds. Next, I'll quickly show you the weapon I have. So, it's called Lapis Prism, with a critical rate increasing passive and damage increasing active skill. It's available in premium and ticket gotchas, as well as the exchange facility. Next, we shall move on to costumes. The best part! Every single time. So, here we have the default costume, it's called Scorching Fire, which is Micah's nickname, and it comes in the following colors. This nice green, blue, and here is not my finest creation, but it's all right. I, I'm satisfied with it. And the next costume is Sub-Zero Pyro. So as you can see, this is the so-called friendship costume of Kirara. But Suze, why do you think they picked her? I mean, it's definitely because they are like polar opposites, right? Because, you know, fire, ice. I, I think that might be behind it. And so let's check the colors. Well, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have this very unique combination. And finally, this reminds me of the Shizuru color thing that I did with her teacher costume. Next one is Mysterious Gyaro, but I'm not sure if we can show this costume to you guys. The default color is black and it has golden details. Uh, she's wearing lace-up boots all the way to her upper thigh. It looks like someone just put tape over strategic areas and some strings and was like okay this is great this is fine <laughs> this is good protection yeah yeah uh so she's like wearing these very interesting glasses too which i don't believe they help with vision they are not glasses honey i'm not it's sure. a mask it's a mask <laughs> who would wear glasses like this <laughs> i mean oh my god <laughs> you know everyone has their tastes so, if she wants it to be glasses, who's gonna tell her it's not? Me. <laughs> if I were to describe this costume in one word, it would be BDSM. Yeah, definitely. She's going on that style, BDSM style, like, I want to show my potential, you know. Potential, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, it's Flame Gyaru Maika. And this is like very, oh, I'm hanging out and about at, in the city, shopping with my friends having fun, maybe dinner later. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's uh, so different from her, you know, fighting persona. You see more of her personality in this outfit, I think. Definitely. And let's see the colors. This electric blue and... Oh, I like the... I like the stripes with the red. It's nice. 
and you know i want to comment on something to defend my point is that she has glasses on her in this um, those are sunglasses this outfit. yeah sunglasses so that means she likes glasses decorative you know it so means she, she has... protects her eyes <laughs> so she can have like a different <laughs> the next costume is a bunny girl mica i i like the gloves i don't like it when they have sleeves that look like they're gonna be gloves and then they give up at the fingers <laughs> i like that these are actual gloves and the red is super nice let's let's see the other colors there's white and finally this hot pink my idea was to go with this like 80s nostalgic look next one we have is fire eater mica and so this is the school uniform comes in the classic blue and white um red black and white and this is my green version and finally bathrobe mica in the classic white orangey brown lime green and this gradient lemon sorbet vibe that i created all right here we had the costumes now it is time for gameplay so mimi how's micah's gameplay let's start with the green build first of all if you've been playing with any speed amelia character like felicia or asuka recently it's time to rewire your brain completely but once you get the hang of it, Maika is so badass. She moves quickly, but obviously charging the bazooka requires some time, so it takes some planning to time the attacks. But blasting with the cannon definitely has its own charm, and it makes you feel powerful in a different way. <laughs> As for a blue build, Mage of Flame is the most convenient thing ever. It's the reason I still couldn't design my main build between green and blue build for Mika. Don't be like me and activate it when you're standing on something that causes damage. The red build was okay, but it didn't impress me as much as green and blue. Maika is definitely a fresh addition to the game, and even if there's a learning curve, she's definitely worth getting. That's it for this video! Tell us in the comments how excited you are for Maika. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! bye, -bye.